Vikram and Pragyan's long slumber could soon come to an end. ISRO is making all the necessary preparations to wake up India's moon mission. As you might remember, on 2nd September, after a fortnight of exploring and analyzing moon's surface, Pragyan and Vikram were put to sleep by ISRO. If you're wondering why that was done, it is because both Pragyan and Vikram are powered by solar energy, which meant that as a sun set on the Shiv Shakti point, located in the southern polar region of the moon, both lander Vikram and rover Pragyan could not operate further. But while it was awake, rover Pragyan discovered several important elements on the moon, including oxygen. Another important element discovered by Pragyan on Moon is Sulphur. Presence of significant amounts of Sulphur will help us understand volcanic activity on the Moon, which in turn could point towards subterranean lunar water. Presence of Sulphur could also indicate if there ever was life on Moon. And if humans decide to build a base on the Moon in future, Sulphur can come in handy for making bricks. Sulphur can also be potentially trapped in water ice, so following its traces can lead to finding water on the Moon. Now the million dollar question is whether Pragyan and Vikram will wake up. On Thursday and Friday, the scientists will try to perform reboot of the modules. This will help in boosting the chances of extension over and above what has already been an entirely successfully complete mission. ISRO team is hoping that as soon as the sun rises on the Shiv Shakti point, which is where both lander and the rover are parked, the equipment will come back to life. The attempt to revive the instruments will be performed on September 21st and 22nd during the time of the lunar dawn. The major challenge for Pragyan and Vikram here would be to come back in action after surviving the chilling minus 200 degrees Celsius of temperature. If the onboard instruments survive the low temperature, the modules can come back to life and continue their mission to send information from the moon for the next 14 days. Tomatoes look good. What should I grow next year though? How can my farm adapt to climate change? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.